So you guys, today I have a wonderful unboxing. Uh, it's Louis Vuitton and listen, this is a, this is a doozy uh, because um, I just want to say, you know, I live stream now several times a week, not just Saturdays and YouTube has done something really bizarre. They separated the live streams from the main videos. It's like a like a different algorithm for them, like a different part of the channel. And so, and I've noticed this only thanks to you guys because you've been telling me, uh, Jacob, I can't find uh, your video because, for example, my Louis Vuitton Band Me saga that a lot of you have been watching, you've been telling me, I can't find part three. I can't find part four because part three and part four were live streamed, right? Part five was live streamed too. But um, you could, you were looking on my videos page and you only saw the videos that I posted, which was Louis Vuitton Band Me Saga 1, Part 1 and Part 2. Those were not live streamed. Those were posted as individual videos. But you couldn't find the live streamed ones. And so I realized that basically my channel doesn't combine the two. You, ha you have to manually look on my channel on the different tabs like when you go to my channel, to the Super Jacob channel, then you have the tab of like, I don't know, community tab, videos, latest video, live. When you click on live, you get all the videos I posted as live streams. And they're separate. Also, shorts are separate from lives. Lives are separate from videos, which is ridiculous. They should all be connected. But so for those of you who have been um, following me also on the lives, you know uh, that uh, there are special unboxings there. But a lot of people have no clue because a lot of you come to me later and say, Diego, did you do an unboxing? Well, when? What? What happened? When? So here you go. I'm going to redo exclusively for you guys a really, really special unboxing. Now, all the details about this unboxing, find them in the live stream. And actually, my Louis Vuitton Band Me Part 5, the last part of the saga, um, all the details about it is in, is in part five in the live stream section of my channel. Be sure to go check it out there. Now, but for the sake of uh, posting this video also on my main channel, on my main video section, so all of you can see it, I'm going to do the unboxing one second time for y'all. Why not? Double the fun, double the fun. So this was an online Louis Vuitton purchase. I ordered it I'm not going to tell you the whole story. You should go check it out in the live stream, right? But I can tell you that I purchased this from the Louis Vuitton website. I never thought that this would be ever available and it became available. I was kind of shocked that it was available because it's never available. It always says contact somebody, contact the store or look for alternatives. Actually, actually, this product most of the time doesn't even, st you know how when products are sold out, it says like notify me when it becomes available again. Not with this one. With this product, when it's uh, sold out, it literally doesn't even allow you to contact a sales associate or to contact customer services. All it does is it allows you to click to say, look for alternatives. Like, yeah, I ain't going to get this. Get something else. Okay. And don't bother us with it. Like, that's the attitude that I get. That's the vibe I got with this one. But I was researching whether or not I was banned online from Louis. And so I was just I have a couple of tabs always open uh, at Louis. And um, this one, I never really refresh the tab, never, because it's never available. But I don't know for what reason that one day around 3 p.m. in the afternoon, I decided to refresh the tab of this one. And bam, all of a sudden it said, do you want to place it into your cart? Because it's available. And I was like, oh my gosh, seriously? <gasps> ah, I got panic attack, of course total panic attack. Uh, and I place it into the cart. I go, you know, and I think to myself, by the time I'm going to go to check out, insert payment, blah, 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 blah. It's going to be gone because it happened to me before once. But no, uh, it went through and then I was shocked. Payment went through and then I'm like, oh my gosh, is it ever going to arrive? Maybe they're going to, because if I am blocked online, they're going to realize that I placed an order and they're going to cancel the order. Is the order going to get canceled? Is it going to get confirmed? The suspense. Cliffhanger. Because, let me tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing Vivian Westwood, almost from head to toe. Vivian Westwood mountain hat. Vivian Westwood necklace. Uh, the giant pearl necklace. And then I also have the Vivian Westwood uh, pirate shirt on, which is this kind of awesome, gorgeous, historic shirt that is made one-to-one -to, -one to resemble uh, pirate shirts from back 
<laughs> in the day, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. But me being a vampire, that was my my heyday, my heyday. But also, pirate ha uh, the mountain hat, um, some of you might be thinking, is that the Pharrell Williams hat? Hold it right there. This hat was designed by Vivian Westwood and Malcolm McLaren in the early 80s, actually 1982 Fall Winter Collection. Nostalgia of Mud was the name. Back then, Pharrell was in diapers. Okay. Now, uh, Run DMC were the first kind of major stars in the 80s to wear the mountain hat, and uh, the rest is history. So for us, uh, Vivian Westwood collectors and lovers and mountain hat collectors, it was kind of really bad when Pharrell started wearing the hat because then we stopped for years wearing the hat because we did not want to be associated. Well, I can speak for myself. I did not want to be associated with it because I'm really not a fan. N far from it. So now slowly I can wear my hats again because, you know, Miss Thing stopped wearing them, thankfully. But just letting you guys know, this hat exists. It had a life and had a wonderful life decades, decades before somebody started wearing them. Okay? Design fashion history lesson closed for the moment. So, here we go. We'll go, we'll go. Ah, there it is in its pouch. Um, I always forget. I want to say box. Where's the box made? Bulgaria. Packaging is made in Bulgaria. The bag was made in also Bulgaria. You're asking yourself, if I ordered this online, how come I got the bag? Well, because... UPS has a tendency of stealing packages. Uh, it's happened before. I've also made several videos on that topic. So now I only, when I order Louis online, I ship it to the Louis Vuitton shop. And then I pick it up at the shop. That's the best because that, that way I'm totally safe. Uh, for me, that, that works the best. So I shipped it to the shop. And of course, when you ship it to the shop, you also get the shopping bag because you inspect you inspect the product. If everything's fine, they wrap it up for you. They put it in the shopping bag. They also gave me some perfume samples, which they would not do if you ordered it online and shipped it to your home. Well, they might, but usually they don't. Never happened to me before. But if I ship it to the shop, then they always kind of, the sales associate throws a you know a couple of samples in there as well. So that's really cute. I get a couple of perfumes with this one. Actually, the two perfumes, or did I get three? I can't remember anymore. Because they're, they're all over the place. I get a ton of these usually. So uh, I think it's it was Symphony and Stellar Times. Maybe because I had them standing here on the side. But um, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. So uh, here it is. For those of you who do watch my live streams, you already know what this is. Oh, look. The little handle is hanging out, y'all. This is such a rarity. But it's kind of sad at the same time. Here you go. Uh, it is the pochette accessoires in the monogram canvas. Now, um, what can I tell you? It's kind of one of the bigger symbols of the Y2K era. And uh, for the people who bought it that long ago, paid around $200, $300 for it. Unfortunately, now it's like over the $1,000 uh, mark, which is ridiculous. Um, but I'm a little bit late to the game. But I love it. Love it to bits. I'm letting it patina a little bit before I start wearing it, like really, really wearing it, like big time wearing it <laughs> out and about. Um, now, what I got to say about this bag? Well, first of all, it's made in France. Yuppie yay yay. Let me, let me show you. Uh, is it going to focus long enough for you to see? There. There we go. The vaquetta is amazing. I've just done another unboxing where I explained harshly, but it's needed because some of you try to rip me to shreds because I call this vaquetta, but it is the vaquetta. This is vaquetta leather. It's not vachetta. It's not vachette. It's an Italian word. The way it's spelled is Italian. That's not how you spell it in French. The way they use the spelling is the Italian spelling. And in Italian, you call it vaquetta. You pronounce it vaquetta. And that's period. There's no discussing this. And if you're doubting me, possiamo anche cambiare la lingua e iniziare a parlare in italiano. 
E se parliamo in italiano vi renderete conto che so benissimo di cosa sto parlando. Ok? No. That was a little Julia Fox moment, wasn't it? I'm full of surprises, honey. Don't try me. Because, seriously, just don't. Ok? Zon zon. Zon zon. And zon bena while you're at it. Zon bena. Ok? Now, the inside of this bag, well, it does have its tiny... Thing. Okay, so what is it? It always tells us like exterior coated fabric, interior synthetic textile, trim vaquetta leather. Looky, looky, cookie, cookie. Uh, vaquetta. Interesting. On one side it's in English, on the other one it's in French. Now, check this out. If we look at the English, I don't even know if I can zoom this in, but if we look at the English version, um, right down here where it says trim it's gonna say vaquetta you see it vaquetta and they actually say vaquetta leather so they're using the italian word on the english side of the little paper that comes with the bag on the flip side we have french Interesting how in French they use the French word, which is spelled differently. In fact, um, the garniture, which is the trim in French, says cuir de, as a cuir means leather. And here they use the French terminology, which is spelled V A C H E T T E, not A. Okay? Now, Queer de vachette, that's a French word, but it's a different spelling. If you're going to spell it with an A, that's vaquetta. If you're going to spell it with an E, then you get the French word, which is vachette. Okay, let's see if you can see it up close. So, let me go in as close as I can. Okay. If you can see it, then you can see it. If you know, you know. I might be posting close-up photos of this um, on my... Uh, oh, you know what? Let me take a picture of it right now. It's going to be difficult for my green screen, but... You know what? Ooh, I'm going to try to show you despite the green screen because everything might turn transparent. But let, let's try to see if it works. So, I'm going to show you the French side first. Oh no, it's visible. Perfect. Okay, there you go. So let me zoom it in. So the, we have the, at the bottom there, garniture, cuir de vachette. Okay, you see V-A-C-H-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E? If you're going to spell it like that, then you can say vachette. If you are going to spell it on the other hand, like this. In English, there you have the trim, vaquetta leather. Then, you better pronounce it as vaquetta and not vachetta, okay? All right, you can name your daughter vachetta. Do whatever you want with your daughter, but you're not going to call this vachetta because it ain't in zonzoe. Right, now, I have one more thing to say. Very, very fascinating. So, as you guys know, well, some of you might know, I name my bags. Uh, usually, the speedy Keep All family gets names. Uh, my Keep All 50 is called Tabitha. I love Southern Belle names. Uh, my speedy, uh, my Keep All 50 is Tabitha. My speedy 30, all in monogram. I'm a sucker for monogram. My Speedy 30 is called Beulah. My Speedy 35 is called Luella Annabeth. My Micro Speedy, the little teeny tiny one, which is kind of like a bag charm Speedy, is called uh, Tallulah. And now for the first time ever, we're going to name a bag that's not from the Speedy Keep All family. Uh, but uh, I credit where credit is due. Penny Lane Mitchell in the live stream where I first unboxed uh, the Pochette Accessoires, Penny Lane Mitchell said, oh, you know, there would be a great name. There would be a great name. And the name would be, and this is now you understand also why this background, why I posted, why I'm using this background for this video. Do you know the name of this flower? These are petunias. 
And so uh, Penny Lane Mitchell said um, in the live chats, hey, this looks like Petunia. Why don't you call your bag Petunia? So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you the latest addition to the Fashion Bunker family, Petunia. Petunia, the pochette accessoires. There you go. I am on such um, a Louis Vuitton trip. I adore this brand. It's kind of my go-to luxury brand together with uh, Rick Owens and for bags uh, and Hermes for other things. Um, we're going to get to Hermes as well. Uh, you know, not everybody is obsessed with Birkins and Kellys and Constances. Some people just like Hermes for other reasons, you know. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This was the unboxing and the naming <laughs> again, second time. The second coming of Petunia, literally. This was the second coming of Petunia. Thank you guys so much for watching. Never give up on love and subscribe.